This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Okay, uh, it's a comparison video today, a little bit of a blind test for you, because basically you may have seen me unboxing this guitar recently, um, and maybe you may see me sh shopping for it. This is an Epiphone, there we go. Uh, this is an Epiphone Les Paul Classic Worn in metallic gold. Lovely guitar, uh, lovely kind of smooth satin finish on it. Um, you know, it's um, it's basically a Les Paul, essentially, uh, albeit an Epiphone one. And today we're comparing that guitar with this one. Yes, indeed, there had to be a Harley Benton in here somewhere, didn't there? This is the SC552, um, which is, um, it's a nice little guitar. I've upgraded the pickups in this, uh, the stock Tesla pickups. Um, I took those out and it's now got iron gear blues engine pickups in it and I guess the um, you know part of the, the reason for doing this video is you often hear people say oh by the time you bought the Harley Benton and you know done the upgrades on it you might as well have bought the Epiphone well we're going to see if that's true uh, this guitar uh, was about 240 I think plus 75 quid for the uh, iron gear pickups that takes us to around what 315 pounds and uh, this one the Epiphone this was uh, 366 um, so I reckon by the time I've put a new set of tuners on the Harley Benton which I haven't got around to doing yet um, they'll be roughly the same sort of money um, so, what we're going to do now is have a little bit of a blind test. You're going to hear both guitars played um, through a range of sounds. Uh, you'll see on screen what the uh, settings are I'm using, both in terms of where the, the volume controls are on the guitar and what I'm plugged into and so on. And, um, well, just have a listen and see which one is which, if you can tell. Here we go. Guitar A. <coughs> Guitar B. Guitar A. Guitar B. Thank you. 
Guitar A. <coughs> Guitar B. <laughs> Guitar A. Guitar B. So there you have it. Uh, which guitar do you think was which? Uh, which one did you prefer? Which one sounded more authentically Les Paul-like? Um, I'm about to put you out your misery. Uh, if you uh, put your money on guitar A being the Epiphone, then you need to collect on that bet. Guitar A was the Epiphone. Guitar B was the Harley Benton, obviously. Um, it For me, it just goes to show that you can have, you know, a range of, of, of sounds within that expected sort of Les Paul spectrum or Les Paul single cut spectrum. The, uh, the Harley Benton with those uh, Iron Gear Blues engine pickups in it, to me has more warmth and it's a more vintage sounding guitar. The Epiphone, is is more trebly and toppy and um you know a hotter output um you know from from these i think these are epiphone pro booker pickups in this um it just depends on what floats your boat for me um you know i've got to tell you i'm i'm more of a fan of you know a kind of a vintage sort of output um vintage kind of les paul so i think i would go with the harley bent and that said I do like that Epiphone. Um, I like the, um, the 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 sort of more toppy response of it. It's got more of that sort of Telecaster on steroids kind of feel to it, um, you know. And you can tame that quite easily by backing off the tone controls. And as you saw on both guitars, um, you've got a volume con volume controls that work across the full range. You know that first uh, example that you heard there with both guitars, where it was on the middle pickup setting with the um, you know the volumes on three. You know that that cleans up beautifully uh, on both guitars via the volume controls. So. Um, if I, I do like the feel of the uh, of the Epiphone as well, that sort of satin finish on the neck is is very nice. But then again, you know the Harley Benton has stainless steel frets, so that's another factor. It's horses for courses. You pays your money and you takes your choice. I reckon, as I said, by the time I put um, you know some you know some more tuners, some different tuners on this guitar. Not because these tuners, are, there's anything wrong with them on this Harley Bent, and I just don't like these snot green uh, buttons on it. Um, so I'll probably chuck a set of Vansons on there, which are, you know, okay, they're not Grovers like the Epiphone has, but then again, you know, they they work. You know, the the um, uh, Vanson do some great locking tuners for about 30 quid that, you know, high ratio, they get the job done, they keep the guitar in tune, and it's like, well, okay, so they're not Grovers. Well, you know, do they keep the guitar in tune, and, you know, do they get rid of those snot green buttons? So I reckon by the time I've, um, you know, 
lashed out on uh, those for the uh, for the Harley Bent, and then both guitars will owe me roughly the same sort of money. Um, so you know, it's which one you prefer. I think you know on bal- the ideal guitar would be um you know the the uh, a guitar with the the stainless steel frets and the uh, you know the, the sound of the harley benton but the satin finish and and the feel of of the epiphone but if i can't have that in one guitar then i think i'll go with you know i think i'll go with the harley benton big surprise i, I know i'm going to get called a shill and uh, you know i've been called delusional a shill and all kinds of stuff in the comments but um, does this look like a face that cares anyway there you go folks that is what the uh, the Harley Benton SC552 with iron gear blues engine pickups sounds like compared to the Epiphone classic worn in metallic gold hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative and useful and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not leave me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream Friday 5pm UK time uh, where we talk music and guitars and have a beer and just just general chit chat it's a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now